Pokemon Adventures' third arc, otherwise known as the Gold, Silver and Crystal chapter, is an amazing arc with amazing characters, amazing continuity, amazing plot, amazing fights, amazing villain, and of course, amazing art. But, have you ever wondered what if the entire arc was different? What if the addition of Satoshi Yamamoto didn't just include an art style change, but a whole story change entirely? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about today, because after seeing some old sketches by Yamamoto, it got me wondering, what could have been? To start things off, we gotta know what actually did happen. Pokemon Adventures Gold and Silver had just begun, and Kusaka was doing the writing as usual, and Mato was doing the artwork. However, at the end of the ninth volume, it had become clear that Mato was getting ill, and there was no way for her to continue working on the series, meaning a replacement was due. And for the tenth volume, we got the introduction of Satoshi Yamamoto, who would become the permanent artist of the series. The tenth volume didn't just include a new artist, it also featured a new character, in Crystal. I see Crystal as Yamamoto's own character in a way, as Chris didn't have a personality in the games until Pokemon Masters, so for the time being, this was the only Chris we really knew. Chris would take the role of the Pokemon catcher in the series, armed with a unique style of catching Pokemon and kicking Pokeballs. She would also act as the main character of the arc, whilst Gold and Silver were off screen, or I guess off panel. Chris would meet a challenge in her story when she failed to catch the legendary Pokemon Suicune, despite trying her very best. This would lead to her getting some character development of her own and I'll definitely talk about it in another video. After the 10th volume focused on Chris and Yamamoto was starting to get used to his own art style, the series got back on track and continued to how we know it as today. Now that we know what did happen, it's time to move on to what could have happened. As I mentioned, Mato got ill so she had to be replaced, but she got ill mid-series, so the problem arised. Should the series get cancelled as Mato was very popular amongst the fans, or the other, more risky choice, should the manga continue with a new artist? As we know, Kusaka chose the second choice, although most people disagreed with his choice. And he stated in an interview, this was the most difficult period in working on the Pokemon Adventures manga. Kusaka would then meet with Yamamoto, who would create some sketches detailing his designs of the characters as part of a competition. Now we can start getting into the proper meat of this video. In this draft page, we get to see Chris along with her team at Olivine City. You may think this is a regular page with just some rough sketches, but actually, if you look closely, you can see on Chris's team that Smoochum is present, although her Bayleaf is also there. This is different, as in the final product, Bayleaf actually replaces Smoochum on Chris's team. Speaking of her team, all of the members on Chris's team, including Chris herself, are lacking their signature star-shaped accessories. These accessories are what determine Chris's true team, due to the fact that she catches tons and tons of Pokemon. Suddenly, a Pikachu runs by her, and we see its trainer, being Yellow, who's chasing it on her Dodrio. Once again, this scene is similar to the final product, however, there is some slight differences. In this page, we see that Yellow is having trouble keeping control of Pikachu, specifically Red's Pikachu, Pika. This is pretty weird considering they just spent a whole entire arc together, as well as the fact that Yellow has her own Pikachu now. In the final manga, we see the two Pikachus meet Chris when they're surfing, as Choo Choo gets sent flying off the board. Yellow then rushes in to save the day and introduces herself to Crystal. As you can see, there are some similarities between the two, with Yellow rushing in with her Dodrio. However, the plot of the whole scene is different. This makes me think that this draft was created before the plot was finalised. Now onto the next page of sketches, where things get really, really different. We have a battle occurring with Crystal, which isn't anything too special. But what is special is the Pokemon she's using, being the legendary Pokemon Suicune. As I mentioned, in the final story, Chris failed to capture Suicune as it got away. But here, it seems like it's part of her team as well. The person Chris is battling is revealed to be Faulkner, who's using Skarmory. This also has some similarities to the final manga, as in the final manga, Faulkner uses Skarmory against the three legendary beasts. Although he loses, he puts up a very good fight, especially considering it's a 3v1. The battle seemingly ends with Crystal's victory, and we get a look at the stands, which holds another shock. In the stands, we have Professor Oak and Kerr, two characters who seem to be given a bigger role, especially for Kerr. Along with them, we have Gold, Pibu, and Silver, who are all looking very different. First off is Pibu, who in the original story doesn't even exist yet. If you didn't know, Gold hatches his Pichu egg at the very final battle, so it being here this early is very crazy. Next up is Silver, whose hair is super uneven, with one side covering his eye just like his Mato design, but to a much further extent. Also, the fact he's here with Professor Oak in general is completely weird, seeing as he did steal a Pokedex from him. Lastly, we have Gold, who actually has a whole sketch dedicated to his design, for this design, Gold's hair explodes onto the front of his head, instead of only being two separate pieces. Also, his eyes are completely different, being more in line with Red, making him seem like a Red V2 rather than a mischievous kid as we know him today. 
I saw this sketch of gold before, but I never knew there was actually a full manga panel with it. Back to the battle, this whole scenario never actually happened in the final manga. If I had to compare it to something that did happen, I would say it's sort of like the gym leader tournament, with the fact that Chris is fighting Faulkner in an arena. But this is still a completely different set of circumstances. As I mentioned, this was part of a competition, so I'd like to think this is Yamamoto's way of showing his skills for being Matu's potential successor. And that's all the sketches I could find relating to this gold and silver beta manga in a way. It was fun seeing these pages, and I had never seen them before, so I wanted to make a short video going over them. As I said earlier, I think this was an initial draft of the script where nothing had been finalised yet. Also, seeing more of Chris is always a good thing, so I hope you enjoyed this. Now, with everything said and done, I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll see you all in the next one.